you're thinking about moving to Pompano Beach, Florida, in this video we're going to show you around Pompano Beach, Florida. We're going to take you through some neighborhoods and show you different homes and different prices so you can see what may fit with your budget. If you stick around until the end, I will share with you the best kept secret in Pompano Beach, Florida that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Let's get after this right now. in Pompano Beach, Florida, right off of Atlantic. There's actually two plazas right across the street from each other and Pompano Beach, the city itself, is actually redeveloping these. But as of right now, they have some really nice cafes, restaurants. For example, that is the Foundry. You have a hair salon there, cafe, diner. Across the way in the other plaza, there is even a brewery you can check out. So if you are in Pompano Beach, before you head over the bridge to the beach, um, this is kind of where you can get everything. Really great spot over here is Houston's. Uh, we're going to go check it out. It is a waterfront restaurant, one of uh, many people's favorites in the area. We are at Houston's in Pompano Beach. Really, really great restaurant if you want to celebrate an occasion or maybe just have a really, really nice lunch or dinner. Great spot on the water next to the bridge so you get to see the boats coming in and out. As I mentioned, Houston is right on the water. You can see they have outdoor dining. Now, when you do call to make a reservation, they can never guarantee you'll be outside. But when you do arrive, you can request and there will be a wait. Very popular spot. Across the way, if it's a two hour wait, you're really hungry, you can just cross over the bridge and go over to Sunset Catch Restaurant. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know about living in Pompano Beach, Florida, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell to be notified so that way you can be the first to know about the current market in Pompano Beach, Florida. My name is Adela Phillipson with Coal Banker Realty. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking to make a move to Pompano Beach, Florida. Whether it's nine days or 90 days, <laughs> Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. All the information is down below in the description so we can help you make a smooth move to Pompano Beach, Florida. So we have arrived at the first house here in Pompano Beach. This particular neighborhood is located nearby the public golf course. That's the Pompano Beach Golf Course. Um, but in this neighborhood, as you can see, it's nice and quiet. You don't necessarily have too many fences. They are smaller in size, kind of the same shingled roof appearance, but I wanted to show you this home. This one is a three bedroom, two bath house, 1300 square feet, priced at 379,000. Just to kind of compare again to everybody else on the street, it, they are similar, kind of built around the same time frame similar square footage, you can end up getting like a two bedroom, one bath, kind of on the lower end, but a great, great location as well as price because everything is so close. Just five minutes to the beach from here, you have the golf course as well as the airport. Okay, so this is the Pompano Beach Golf Course. Again, it is a public golf course. There's actually two 18 hole golf courses here and the green fees are under $50. As you can see, there are it's beautiful weather. There are golfers right now. And if you actually want to take a look behind me, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the airport, the Pompano Beach Airport. A lot of people have their private planes there, G4s, G5s, so many variations. But I just wanted to bring you here. It's a really great spot just off of US 1. So if you are in Pompano Beach, maybe have your sticks, definitely come at the turn grab a quick bite or after your round enjoy a great dinner here at galopi's right behind me still here at the pompano beach public golf course let's go look at some other homes so this is our second stop here in pompano beach now this particular neighborhood i love because its location just two minutes to the beach just down the street you have everything all the restaurants all the shops grocery stores starbucks anything you can think of. Um, you can even walk to the beach from here, actually. So these homes are kind of similar, um, you know, smaller sizes to the last part we were at, 
shingle roof, but this house, it's three bedrooms, three baths. It was built in 1968. It's 1,550 square feet, and it is priced at 720,000. This is a great spot to just come and enjoy the views. We are at the Hillsborough Inlet. So the Hillsborough Inlet is kind of a connection between three cities, Pompano Beach, of course, being one of them, which is just behind, right here in front of me, um, Lighthouse Point, and that right there is Hillsboro, uh, Hillsboro Beach as well. So the inlet is one of the ways that a lot of people will get in and out from the Intracoastal Waterway and the ocean. It's basically where the Intracoastal Waterway meets the ocean. As you can see, if you can see, the water is actually low right now and it is clear. Come take a look. I want you to really see this. See how beautiful that is and you can also see the sailboats of course now there is a drawbridge here so if you do have a bigger boat or people who do have big boats have to wait for that drawbridge to open and close typically it's either on the top of the hour or half of the hour otherwise it'll be in the 15 minute mark quarter past or 45 minute mark um, so yeah, this is one of the wonderful parts of being in Pompano Beach, very picturesque. And you can actually see that lighthouse right there. So again, this is where Pompano Beach meets Lighthouse Point, which I'll talk about in another video, and Hillsboro, which yet again, another video. But I just want to point out how picturesque. There is actually a beach there. So if you are on a boat, you can park there, get out, and really enjoy like a nice private little beach. This particular park we are located, You, it, when you do come to Pompano Beach and you're thinking about moving to Pompano Beach, Florida, there is a parking lot here. So, and there's a little playground. So if you have children, there's swings. Um, it is kind of like a quiet day, but on the weekends, it's really, nice people come here for like picnics enjoy a wonderful lunch see all the yachts coming in and out the big boats the sailboats people are out and about even on the little beaches out there people will be playing volleyball maybe kicking the ball around playing some soccer so if you ever again are in pompano beach i highly recommend just coming out and checking out this spot because it's just really really beautiful let's go check out some homes we have arrived at our third spot here in Pompano Beach. Now this particular neighborhood is definitely like a boater lifestyle. It is a waterfront property, but just taking a look around, for example, the homes here are really nicely manicured. Even this particular home has great curb appeal. And you also have a mix, you know, of one story homes and two story homes. So there's definitely a nice combination. Most of the homes were built in the 60s this house I'm taking you to right now, I am the agent currently selling it. It is a three bedroom, two bath house, just a little over 2,000 square feet. It is priced at 1,350,000 and the beauty is that you have a boat in your backyard. You can get on whenever you want, go to brunch on Sunday, even dinner on a Friday night, whenever you want. But if you focus down this street, it does end in a cul-de-sac really nice safe neighborhood but it's so close to everything still beach um, the inlet the intracoastal waterway you have groceries um, all of the uh, anything and everything you can think of is super super close in this neighborhood i have brought you to the fourth and last stop here in this neighborhood we are in pompano beach if you'll look around very beautiful homes it is a waterfront property, again, that I'm bringing you to. The difference between the last waterfront property and this waterfront property is the fact that uh, the last house had two fixed bridges. This one does not. The great thing about having no fixed bridges is really the height of your boat. So you can have a sailboat, catamaran, um, whereas the other one, you just have to be conscious of the height when you go under the bridges. Now, this is a three bedroom, two bath house, about 2,000 square feet, uh, built in 1967. So you see a lot of the similarities. So the other home, pretty much about the same, was 1,350,000. But keep in mind, that one had a lot of amazing work done to it. I don't know the specifics of this one, 
but this one happens to have zero bridges and it's 1,850,000. So do you see those buildings over there? The beach is right there. At the end of the cul-de-sac is the Intracoastal Waterway and then you have the condos and the beach. So you're so close. This is the best kept secret in the area. Now the entire city of Pompano Beach is spending millions and millions of dollars in redeveloping the city. Not only are they putting a botanical garden as well as redoing some of the shopping plazas along Atlantic, but they've also spent money in some new restaurants along the beach. So as you can see, there is Beach House as well as Oceanic. And most importantly, in 2019, they completed the construction of this Pompano Beach Pier. Now, when you come to Pompano Beach, there are buildings between A1A as well as this area. So majority of people will just drive by it. They miss it. Unless you're doing your research, things to do in Pompano Beach, you'll completely drive by. You won't even know it's here. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy I was able to share with you Pompano Beach. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications.